members having a city council meeting Monday to discuss it. To discuss what? Aim for a new name in Fort Bragg. No, that'll never happen. Good afternoon, folks. This is Mac Besser reporting from Wold Brothers Studios on Fort Bragg's alleged potential name change to change it from Braxton Bragg, who did become a Confederate general in the Civil War and owned slaves, or should we leave history alone and let the Fort Bragg name stand all on its own? Got time for a question? We have a budding young filmmaker and Fort Bragg native. <laughs> About this, we have no opinion. We're just liking to get residents or visitors' opinion about renaming Fort Bragg. We don't know. Fort Bragg native, Daniel will tell us. And here's his whole life. What do you think? Honestly, I wouldn't change it. I mean, it's been around for so long. And it's so well known all over. Even though the spider, and we all know, was named after the guy that wound up yeah. being. But but it's so well known, if we change the name, people probably will have a hard time with it. Probably, probably. What do you think about the pro proposed possibility of a name change? They're going to be meeting Monday at the city council just to talk about should we or shouldn't we? What's your opinion? No. We should change the name of Fort Bragg. It meant Fort Bragg since 1857. Before the Civil War started? Yes. So he was a soldier in the U.S. Army. He was a general. And then he changed sides and fought with the Confederates in the Civil War. That's he did own slaves. Yeah, that's correct. But that's the past. That's over with it. You know, it, it's... Just the idea to change the name of Fort Bragg, you know, I've been here 51 years. And it's it's expensive and I think it's ridiculous. What do you think? I like the name. I'm not really into the changing the name, the name because of the Confederate. So um, you're aware of the situation yeah. and what he brought still. I really care for Fort Bragg. I like it. Good. Okay. What do you think? Time for a name change. What do you think? You know what? I don't think I have much of an opinion because I'm not a local. Well, that's all right. I've been in Fort Bragg for a couple days. All right, but this is a worldwide story. It was even <laughs> this is a Petaluma paper, uh, uh, local, but it's even in the New York Times. Interesting. I'm see. What do you think? Um, I mean, what's the, what's the historical value of the name? Bragg. Well, why, yeah. why are they, he why was, they want to change he it? He was a general in the Confederate Army. Oh, I see. Was he was named after his right. officer. He was right. right. That's right. He, he never, never visited. Never down. visited here. Right. Never I was born in Rachel. Right. All right. Yeah, yeah. They, All yeah, right. He, come he, on. He, Fort Bragg native. Idea. All right. He may have been a Confederate. Yeah. But when this town was named, he was not. That's right. Why keep trying to change our history? I understand all lives matter, basically. Yes, right. Nobody's any better than anybody else. Leave it alone. I cannot afford the money it's going to cost me that I don't have for all the changes of all my personal everything, including birth certificates, blah, 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 blah. I'm from Chicago, so I got no skin in the game. What do you think? I think it's a bad idea. I think it's a lot of money. I think uh, if we want to bring equality to the town, we should do it in a financial way. Because I don't this think is the money. It isn't really the cost of the money. It's the fact that it's symbolic. It's not really going to bring change to the Latino community, uh, who's been really negatively impacted by the the job layoffs. And I think we need to look at that. I mean, we have our own silent minority that's right who's not being served that's right serve them so what do you think i think we're too close to ukiah because people are drinking the kool-aid and never change fort bragg okay let history be history and let people decide for themselves not this leftist agenda that they have because they need to go see the doctor something's wrong upstairs my wife has the opinion and I'm, we're from Chicago. Chicago, the yeah. Windy City. Yeah, no skin in the game, but my wife said, if you do all that, you whitewash history, and there's no history left. If it's wrong, it's wrong, but that's part of the history. And your wife is right. 
wife. Never argue with a woman. No, I Especially learned that. your wife. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless Thank you. Thank you very much. I think it's good that they're having a discussion about it. I think there's a lot of mixed emotions. I think you have um, a lot of people that want the name change and a lot of people that want to keep things the way they are. And I think they're... Um, anything from outside influences telling our town and the people that work here in the community what to do is a conflict of interest and if you just keep on um, if you submit to what people want from out of town then we lose our town and other people have our town so uh, what do you think I think the name needs to be changed in the process and if Leningrad was changed to St. Petersburg, mm -hmm. if the whole Soviet Union collapsed and names were changed, it's ridiculous that people are not seeing this as something that could be very positive. You're not, I, not from Fort Bragg. I am not from Fort okay. Bragg. I do live, I came from a town where we changed your name also. Really? Yeah, and it was quite the uproar. And um, I figure either People are going to agree or disagree. This is an opportunity for Fort Bragg to come together to create a new image for ourselves that is not aligned with a Confederate slave owner. You know, they called him Jackass Bragg, his peers. There was books written about him. He wasn't too great of a He was guy. not a great man. And this is an opportunity for us. You know, it's not going to cost a lot if you do it over a couple years. What would you change the name to? Nile Harbor. There you go, that's what my wife and I. Unless we consult with the Native American people right. and find out what they really want. What do you think about the name change? Well, maybe. What is the name they want to change we, it to? Nobody, it's just up in the air. Okay, I heard this, I heard a name, something like uh, Noyo Cliffs or Noyo something or other, and it sounded pretty. It did. Didn't it sounded like a name. One, one so woman. So just for that reason alone. <laughs> yeah, one woman said, no, you're a harbor. And I thought, that is a nice thing. I think people are learning. It's growing on people. So I don't think it'll do any damage if the name does change. The people aren't going to change. The shops are going to be just as great. Yeah, it's a the good community. The still there. The ocean's still there. The lakes still come in. The surfers will still serve. The headlines are still there. <laughs> exactly. Right. Nothing changes but the name. Exactly. You know, for a long time, that name, Fort Bragg, didn't mean anything to us because we're not a fort. And most of us didn't know who Braxton Bragg was. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but on the other hand, I have to say, I think the town has so many issues now with getting people back to work and to uh, get, get them, you know, back into the workforce. And we've obviously, as a town, have probably lost a great deal of money and budget-wise, I imagine it's difficult. So I would say this just may not be the time to do it. Is there ever a time to do it? I don't know. This is a very difficult time. I certainly understand yeah. why people want to not have it named after a Confederate general. I get that. On one hand, you know, that is our history, which is, right. is probably, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, but we've got to learn our history is what we've got to learn. The brass plaque clearly reads, on this site in 1897, nothing happened.